Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you six of the best pets for kids. If you want an animal on this list, please do your research and also make sure that you think either you or the child is ready for it. So without further ado, let's get into the list. First up, we have guinea pigs, which are a fairly small pet, but they do require a fair amount of care. So let's go through some of the pros and cons. But first up, you should get two or more as they're a social creature. And that's something I feel like some people miss. Secondly, for, gu for two guinea pigs, you're going to need a cage of a minimum of 8 to 10 square feet, but bigger is always better for these animals. Make sure, if it make sure it does have a solid bottom, the cage, and not wire, as they have fragile feet and they should be protected. Some of the pros for guinea pigs is, one, that they're adorable and they're quite easy to interact with, and they can be very affectionate towards their owners. Um, also, they live longer. They live around six to eight years, which is a lot longer than many other rodents, such as hamsters and mice. They're also a fairly sturdy animal. They have a fairly good immune system, which makes them easier than some of the other animals on this list. They're also very gentle, so they won't cause havoc in many situations. And they're vegetarian, but please do your research into the different diet options to work out which ones are best for you and your guinea pig. On to the cons. First of all, they need a fairly large space. I've already gone over that. They can have an odour, but you can find ways to prevent it. And if you clean the clean, if you clean that cage up regularly, you can avoid this. Um, they can also be shy towards their owners to start with, but if you can, you find ways to connect with them, they'll get more and more confident. But they can also be noisy. They make this kind of high pitched little squeak. I'll try and find a clip of it. Yes, this could annoy you in the middle of the night, or if you just don't like noisy pets, this could be an issue. However, if the noise and the odour doesn't bother you, a guinea pig could be a perfect pet. Um, in terms of how prices range, you could go for any, and there's also so many different types of guinea pig, or you can consider adopting one from a rescue shelter. Okay, so next up we have a tortoise. Tortoises have been around on this planet for over 200 million years and they're fascinating to both watch and care for. So first pro is there are many different sizes of tortoise such as yellowfoot tortoises, uh, also Herman tortoises. So if you check the enclosure requirements for the different breeds and you can find one that works for you. Next pro is they can live for well, they can live between 30 and 100 years, which could be a pro or a con depending on you. Also, their food is it's easy to find. Once again, do your research into the different species, but in general, leafy greens are a win, although they can be a little more pricey. They are also very hardy. Smaller children would be able to stroke a tortoise without hurting it. However, I recommend you watch younger children at all times, as with any animal. On to some of the cons. First of all, they require heat, and this could be adding to your electricity bill. It depends on whether you're willing to pay it or not. Also, depending on the species, the enclosures could be huge. They also need supplements, so again, do your research. You'll notice this is a common theme in my video today. Um, so do the research and the different supplements for each tortoise. Prices for a tortoise could be anything from £50 to £500, so give that a great deal of thought as well. If a tortoise is a perfect pet for you, then check out a video I'll be posting up later or any of the other videos on YouTube. Next, we have rabbits. Rabbits can make great pets in the right circumstances. You would be best to get two, and for two rabbits, you'd want a minimum of eight square feet, but that does depend on their size. Some of the pros to owning rabbits. One, same as guinea pigs, they're both adorable and affectionate, and they're great companions. Next, they can also live between 10 and 20 years. This could be a pro or a con, depending on what you feel. Their cages are very easy to clean as well, which is great. Some of the cons for a rabbit. One is their lifespan, which I've already mentioned. Next, they can scratch or bite if they haven't been socialised well. They would need the right temperature home. And finally, they will chew everything. Everything. <laughs> so, as I say, here we go again. Please do your research into the different rabbit breeds and their care. Yes. <laughs> now, in terms of purchasing rabbit, first of all, you can adopt. There are so many bunnies that need homes. 
because people buy them and they don't realise how hard, well not how hard, they don't realise the amount of care they do need and they end up giving them away. But if you do want to buy a rabbit, then you can expect to pay between £20 and £50 on average. If you think a rabbit is a perfect pet for you, like I say, do some research and have a look at the local breeders and also local shelters. Now we have number five, which is cats. Cats are one of the most common pets, second to dogs. A cat could be the perfect asset to your family. Some of the pros of owning a cat um, is that they're quite low maintenance, you know, food, water and litter. And they also clean themselves, which is a great help. They are also great companions and they're quite entertaining as well. <laughs> and they can do well in apartments, unlike some of the other larger animals. Some cons of cats, though. One, their claws. If you annoy something or do something they don't like, you may get clawed. But whatever happens, please do not declaw your cat. It's really painful for them and it's kind of removing their natural defences. Also, they're a predator, so they may bring you presents in the form of mice and birds. And the third con is hairballs. Some people might not want to have to deal with that. So that I don't think I need to explain any further, but yeah. To purchase your cat, first up, I think you should definitely consider adopting, as there are a load of cats. Cats Protection is a good place to go if you're in the UK. I don't really know of American charities, but if you're in the UK, you should definitely check out your local Cats Protection or just Cat Rescue Shelter. If you do want to purchase a cat, the prices could really vary depending on what colour, what type, anything could make the price go up or down. Now, a dog. Man's best friend. For this may be true, but a dog isn't for everyone. Let's go through some of the pros and cons. One pro for a dog is that they make amazing companions and they're great company for both kids and adults. Also, they have so many different kinds, long hair, short hair, big dogs, little dogs. And one of the biggest pros for people with allergies is that you can get hypoallergenic dogs, such as poodles, which won't trigger your allergies. Although, like all the animals on this list, there are some cons to a dog. First of all, they need a lot of training. Think about it, potty training, how to sit, how to stay. (sighs) But the biggest con for a dog is probably the vet bills. Like, not including food, the bed, lead, training. Vet bills aren't cheap. They're very, very expensive. And the final con to a dog that I can think of right now are travel arrangements. With a cat, you can just go over and let someone feed it every day, etc. With a dog, you can have someone who can walk it, who can be there basically all the time. The average price for a dog, well, it could be anything depending on the breed or the size, the age you get it at. But you can look between 60 to £900 or more. Or you could consider shelter dogs. There are loads and loads of dogs in shelters who could really use a home. If you think a dog's a great pet, make sure you do your research because they're a big commitment, like any animal. Next, we have pet rats. Rats are adorable social pets that enjoy their owner's company, and they can also make amazing pets for kids. Some of the pros of owning rats, first of all, they are really intelligent. You could teach them tricks, and they've even been trained to find mines in the military. Second, they also clean themselves, just like a cat, And they can also be litter trained, which is a big pro. They're also very social, both to their owner and to other rats. You need to get at least two, preferably more, but I wouldn't recommend keeping male and female together. Some of the cons of rats. First of all, they're nocturnal, which, like a hamster, could be an issue with both noise at night or just not seeing the animal as much. And also like a hamster, they don't live long. Their lifespan is around two to three years. And they chew. Same as rabbits, they will chew everything. But rats are really social creatures and they could make a great friendly pet for a kid. The average price for a rat could be anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds to 30 pounds, 